Okay, I'm back. Um, I discovered that things were not running right, and I'd had this open book script on here, and it was causing me a problem. You may, you guys probably saw it, and I saw it. That's the reason it took me so long to get back. And so, like, see this? That was wrong. We didn't want that. I was looking at all these. Everything looked fine, 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 fine. Well, the problem is I had this sitting there. So it was going double time. So let's take this back off. Right click. Remove component. I don't know if y'all put it on there, if I put that on there with you guys or what. But we only want that script on the top guy. So now it's going to work good for us. Okay. Now we do want it to stop after one second, but that's a different issue and that's not a bug. That's just that we haven't got there yet. So let's go ahead and get it where it'll stop. Okay. I like having a start time and an end time. And there might be other ways of doing this. This is just the way I'm doing it. Okay. Private date time. And this is just a regular C sharp variable. And we're going to have an end time. Now then, when they click open, we're going to capture the start time. And it's going to be date time now. And during this update, we're going to cap we're going to check the time, but we got to get it in time. Oh, well, we can do this after we rotate. Okay. It's equal date time now. Then we're going to check for the time span. So we're going to say if start time, no, end time minus start time. And make sure we get another little print up here. And we're going to say total seconds is greater than or equal to one. Then we're going to stop. We're going to say is open quote if it's false. Do I want to do anything else just yet? At this second, no. So if we need to fix this. Okay. So let's do that. See how this works for us. And that's what we want. Now, as long as we're here, remember those sounds that you downloaded, you found off that J sound? Uh, we've got a flip page, and there were several. You could pick out many, and a book cover open. So we want to create a new object called audio source, okay? Um, I mean, we can just call it right click, uh, audio. Audio source. An audio source is a good title for me. And um, see, what do we do with that guy? I'm just leaving him blank. And then we can add an audio clip too, I believe. Let's see. Audio source. Nothing's there. That's fine. So, um, let me look at the program real quick. We're going to add some stuff in our program to use this audio source. So up here in our variables, we can make this public or serialized. Let's do serialized or public. It doesn't matter. We can do serialized. Um, we're going to add audio source, source, and we're going to add a serialized field for, the, really the only reason you'd need public is if more than one program needed it. Um, I've been guilty of in the past just calling everything public because I wanted it in that inspector, but then I found out about serialized fields. So if this doesn't need to be public, you shouldn't make it public. 
And we're going to call this one. Um, I did not finish that one above. Let's do that real quick. Or this one here is going to be audio clip. Clip. And I'm going to call that clip open book. So after we open it, we're going to we want to play a sound. So let's say play sound. And that's the net method that we have not written yet. We're going to write it right now. Private void play sound. So if I want um, Except I would prefer to have a capital P. It's just my preference. Okay. And so I'm going to check for if it's not null because I don't want it crashing on me if I forget to put it in the inspect inspector. So we're going to say if uh, audio source not equals null. And open book not equals null then we're going to uh, audio source play one shot and we're going to open book this way if we forget to add it in it will not crash on us so let's go back to inspector and audio source and then we'll take front of book and we're going to add the audio source is going to be this guy and the open book clip is going to be that guy and we're going to add it in so let's go ahead and do this real quick that's what I want okay now in our next video we're going to start doing the bottom part of that too because when it opens the book we want to see something at the bottom and then we're going because for a split second it will show and then we'll add the open book there but we need to have it actually open and show it opening okay so i'll see you in a minute